Okay, in this problem, we're asked to determine the critical points of f of x, y, and graph and identify the critical points on the graph. So our function f of x, y is given as the quantity x minus 1 squared plus the quantity y plus 2 squared plus x minus 3y. So to determine the critical points, we'll take the gradient vector of f and set it equal to 0. So the gradient of f First component is the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Second component is the partial derivative of f with respect to y. And we see that our gradient is 2 times the quantity x minus 1 plus 1 comma 2 times the quantity y plus 2 minus 3. And we want to set this equal to 0 to determine our critical points. So if we do that, we see that we have 2x minus 1 equals 0. And 2y plus 1 equal to 0 by setting each of the components equal to 0. So if we do that, we see that we can solve both of these simultaneously. And we get that x is equal to 1 half and y is equal to negative 1 half. So when x is equal to 1 half and y is negative 1 half, we have a critical point. So f of one-half negative one-half is our critical point. And we can solve that or plug that in, see what our z value is. So we get negative one half squared, which is one fourth, plus three halves squared, plus nine fourths, and plus two. And so we can simplify this a little bit. We get nine halves is our z component. So our critical point lies at on our graph it's going to be one half, negative one half, nine halves. So let's go ahead and graph this. It's going to be a elliptic paraboloid and we know that the minimum, we know that it's going to be a minimum um, at the point one half, negative one half, nine halves. So we can just very roughly estimate So we see that it's kind of, um, so it's an elliptic paraboloid and our point uh, is the minimum. So this is one half, negative one half, nine halves. 
right here. So we found our critical point. We graphed it. Um, the question asks you to graph it with technology, but I just did, gave a quick sketch. This, should, this is what it should look like. And our point is going to be right there. So there's this loop.